Hey guys, welcome back to my channel here. This is Penguin Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to how to connect your PS4 controller or even your PS5 controller to your computer so that you can play your games or even emulations using your controller. So first up, you can go to this website ds4windows.com. So this is the website where you can download the drive, the software that you run in order to connect your PS4 or PS5 controller your computer so uh, I'll leave a download link in the video description below and now let's go into this download site and all you need to do is to click download on this so you install so you so you download the file and then uh, in the meantime you can also look at this list here so uh, yeah so aside from downloading this DS4 Windows you also need to download its drivers so as you can see, here are a few uh, drivers that you need to download. The first one, which is the most important one, is the Virtual Gamepad Emulation Bus, VGM Bus, and this is required. So also go into this link and download it, and I will also leave this download link in the video description below. And there are two, three more, Hit Hide, this is optional, um, Factor Input, which is also optional, and then the uh, Windows libraries and framework. This is another one that is required. So download this as well. And this is the um, official DS4 app. All right. Once you download all of this, you can go to this. Once you download all of them, you need to start installing them. So the first step, we install the VGM bus itself and let it install. All right, and then we also and then we also extract this software out. Extract all. Okay, and then uh, also install this just in case your computer don't have it and then also the VC with distribution x64 so download the x64 if your if your Windows is 64 bit download the x86 if your Windows is 32 bit so just install all of them just in case your computer don't have it unless you are sure you have it then you have you can skip these steps and then you have to restart your computer so i'm going to show you how do you connect your ps4 controller or even your ps5 controller co to connect to your pc um, using wire and wireless so i'm going to show you how to connect it using wire so first of all, you want to make sure that you have a USB wire here. So USB A to USB micro USB for PS4 controller and uh, USB to USB C cable for PS5 controller. And then uh, you have to make sure that the cable you're using has to be compatible with your controller, meaning that this has to be able to charge and also transfer data. So keep that in mind. So uh, to start off, you want to, before you connect your controller to your PC, I recommend you to always uh, start it off with opening the program first. So here we are launching the program and then you connect your controller to the wire uh, and then you connect your controller to your PC so like so once connected even without turning it on you can see that it's blue color now so blue color means that this is detected by the PC and also detected by the program itself and the blue color is the default color 
and then you can change this in the program itself but I just want to show you that now it's connected as you can see it's showing you so my, my controller is a version 1 so it's showing DS4 V1 and then it's also showing that this is controlled via wire and then the battery hub and then it's showing the color in which you can go inside to actually change the color in the profiles and whatsoever but, the, but I digress and now I'm going to show you how to connect using Bluetooth so let me just disconnect my controller here and now we're going back to our controller so before I begin I just want to mention that if you want to connect to your Bluetooth you must have a Bluetooth connectable device so let's say if your computer does not come with any Bluetooth module you can buy a Bluetooth USB module here make sure this is the receiver and not the transmitter type um, the other way to do it is to buy a Bluetooth PCI adapter which I did recently installed in my in my previous video you can I can link it the video on the top here so that's mean that I can connect my Bluetooth here so I have this setting here so I'm going to turn it on now we want to pair this to the PC itself so for PS4 and I believe for PS5 it should be very similar you have to hold your share button and the PlayStation button at the same time to enter the pairing mode so we haven't paired the Bluetooth of the controller to the PC and we have to start by this step first and after that once you have done the pairing the next time you activate the Bluetooth you should be able to connect immediately so let's start off with the pairing first so uh, share and PlayStation button together for a few seconds and now you see it's flashing and then we need to go into the settings here and then click activate click the first option Bluetooth and as you can see this is still flashing white and that's why it's still showing in the list Then you connect. And therefore, you're connected. And now, it's connected, but it hasn't have any color. So what you can do is just to close this software, open it again, and there. Let's run. and then you press your playstation button again and there you go you are connected now so for me in this case um, I haven't tried playing a lot of games on steam using the controller I've always been connecting to this software because it allows me to do a lot of setting changes so I've been playing Rocket League with this and also Pokemon on Yuzu and Ujix and it works perfectly fine so uh, yeah so Go back to the main points is that uh, I would prefer to always open this software first before you connect your controller wired or wireless and then one of the major problem is that you have to remember to install the vision drivers so you can go back to the link and see which of the drivers that you need to be installing and that's all for me guys thank you for watching remember to like and subscribe and share my video if you find this useful and I will see you guys next time Bye-bye.